has really been inspiring me is hearing psychologists give excuses to people who kill others. Oh, he didn't have a good father, his father left, or, or the Texas guy, student who killed 10 people. He was rejected by a girl at school. Imagine what trauma. Everybody must accept you or you can go and kill people. Thank you so much, psychology. I think it's been a bad influence on our culture. And then also, the final thing I read of a guy accused of terrorism, of wanting to kill others, who is claiming to have post-traumatic stress disorder because he was accused. Now you cannot accuse anybody. Oh, thank you so much. This is a great future. Why? Why? I've lost interest in why. Don't care anymore. Save your reasons. No doubt you have many. For the professional specializing in, it's not your fault. Nothing you can say after smashing store windows to loot, burning other people's cars, stealing life savings of people who trusted you, cheating the faithful, using a spiritual cover to corrupt children, placing a bomb in a city bus filled with people going to work to make your life more comfortable. Videotaping the slow separation by knife of the head from the body of someone who does not share your beliefs about things neither of you know anything about. I'm no longer interested in who did what to you in the past or what you're feeling now. Really, we've heard it all before. The disappointments and betrayals, the lack of things, the upset when your team loses and all teams do eventually. We understand everything and we understand nothing. No words you can string together will make any difference. Go find other ways to make the world a better place. Thank you. I just heard a